Hi everyone, welcome back to Kathy's Vegan Kitchen. I'm Kathy. If you like the recipes that you're seeing, please subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. Today we're going to make a vegan jambalaya in one pot in under 30 minutes. And the rice actually cooks inside the pot with everything else. We also have a little added bonus. Paul likes the apple sage sausage in his jambalaya. Now you have two choices. If you're going to put the fake meat in it, you're gonna cook it with all the ingredients in the pan, but I don't want this in mine, so I'm gonna cook it separate in a separate pan, and I'm gonna add it to his jambalaya ever. That's how you please everybody in the family, the people that like the fake meat and the people who don't. So we're gonna start with a big pot, and you need a clove of garlic. Oh, I should probably turn the heat on first. You need a clove of garlic that's minced. And we have one yellow onion diced. Again, I used my veggie chopper to cut back on that time limit. It, you know, it takes to meal prep and stuff. I know it's exhausting. So you wanna make sure, if you, get, if you can, a veggie chopper is very helpful. We also have, whoops, I don't wanna put that in yet. Five stalks of celery also chopped up nice and small and I want to put these mushrooms in there too eight ounces of mushrooms and we're going to let those cook a little bit get that heat going there's a lot of water um, or moisture, I should say, in the celery and the onions and the mushrooms. So you shouldn't have an issue in terms of anything sticking on the bottom of your nonstick pan. If for some reason you do, you can add a little vegetable broth or water to um, help move the stuff around a little bit, but it's not a problem. Let's talk about the other ingredients as this is going forward. We have one red bell pepper. We have one jalapeno that I seeded and I took the veins out and I chopped it up again using the veggie chopper. I also have a second jalapeno that I'm gonna use for garnish after. And because this is a little bit spicy, I like to put a little bit of avocado on top when I garnish it too, and some parsley, but you can do what you want. There is a way to make this less spicy and I'll talk to you about that in a second. First, you want to make sure that you take the seeds and the veins out of the jalapeno. And you want to wear gloves when you cut it, especially if you have contact lenses, because if you don't, even if you wash your hands later in the night, you're going to take them out, you're going to burn your eyes. My sister's done it. I know a lot of people have done it, so it's terrible. We also have a 10-ounce can of Rotel tomatoes with green chilies. For a less spicy version, you can just use plain, diced tomatoes, a can, or you can use roasted ones for a more smoky option. We have one 15 ounce can of dark red kidney beans that I drained. We're gonna use four cups of vegetable broth. This is two cups of short brown rice, short grain brown rice. Now, if you have long grain brown rice instead of the short grain brown rice, brown rice you have to cook it longer. This only takes 25 minutes to cook. The long grain kind can take to 30 to 40 minutes. So if you use long grain instead, you're gonna finish this and it's gonna be crunchy and not cooked. So make sure that you pay attention to that note on the recipe. We also have a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, two teaspoons of Creole seasoning, and I chose um, the, um, Old Bay seasoning, but you can use any Creole seasoning. And then one teaspoon of paprika. Oh, and three tablespoons of vegan Worcestershire sauce. And I like the Annie's um, brand or the Wizard brand. I buy both of them depending on what's at the store. Okay, so as you can see, our onions are starting to get translucent. So we're gonna add that one red bell pepper that's chopped up. We're gonna add the jalapeno that's chopped up. 
stir it all in there and let it cook for a second. Then I'm going to add the Worcestershire sauce, the Italian seasoning, the Creole seasoning, and the paprika. Get it all out of there. I like that paprika. And we're going to stir that in there. Ooh, it smells yummy. Okay, now I'm going to add that 10 ounce can of Rotel tomatoes, the 15 ounce can of the um, dark red kidney beans. If you don't like dark red ones, you can really put anything in here that you want. I mean, there's no really rules. Um, if you prefer, they have light red kidney beans, different ones than that. Okay, now, as you can see, this, oh, it smells so good. Okay, we're going to add the two cups of the brown rice. Again, short brown rice takes less time to cook than long grain rice. So you could end up with a problem with it being done if you don't use the short grain. And if you use the long grain, that's okay. It just takes a little longer. We're going to add four cups of vegetable broth. I use the low-sodium kind. I buy it at Costco in bulk. And then what we're going to do, yeah, stir that rice in there to make sure it's combined. And now we're going to wait for it to start to boil. The watched pot is finally boiling. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the top on. You don't have to stir it at all. And you're going to turn it down to simmer for 25 minutes. Five minutes before it's done, I'm going to saute the sausage that I cut up into pieces in the pan. You can also take them outside and throw them on the grill. Those That works as well and then cut them up into pieces. But because we we're doing stovetop today, I just decided to do that. So we'll be back in 25 minutes or 20 minutes because we're going to cook up that sausage and then we're going to plate it and you can see what it looks like. Okay, there's five minutes left. So let's take a little peek right here. It's still going strong. Got five minutes of cooking time left. And I'm, what I do is I cut the sausage. Um, I took two sausages. There's four in a package. And he'll divide it. I'll divide it up for him for dinner tonight. And then he'll eat it for lunch again tomorrow. So this takes literally five minutes once the um, pan is hot to cook it up. And then we'll put it all together. Okay. Everything's ready to go. As you can see, the rice has absorbed most of the liquid. And we're going to take a bowl. Paul's going to taste test for us today. We're going to take a bowl. And you want to get some juice in there and the rice mixture. And he would like the sausage, so I'm going to put some sausage on there for him. And then I'm going to add some parsley on top, a couple pieces of jalapeno, and some avocado. And as you can see, this makes a lot. Like you have good six to eight servings. It refrigerates really well. Um, you can cut it in half if you have smaller amount that you'd like to use. Yeah, let me clean that up. And here we are. We're going to let it cool for a second so Paul doesn't burn his mouth. And then we're going to get an honest opinion. Okay. okay, taste tester Paul is going to go deep into that jambalaya and tell us what he thinks. Okay. We have to wait for it to cool. You have to wait for it yeah, to cool because it's super hot. Just see if I'm going to spin it around a little bit. I can't wait anymore. It's too good. Get a little avocado in there cool it down. Okay, first bite with no sausage. Mmm. How's the spice level? Because you don't like it as um, spicy as me. Pretty low, actually. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Let me do a sausage this time. I didn't get a jalapeno, though, so maybe that could be a issue. Come on, sausage. Here we go. Mmm. Two thumbs up.
two thumbs up. Okay. Hope you enjoy the recipe. We'll see you next time. Bye.